Long ago, Memphis was the ancient capital of Inabu Hej, the gnome of Lower Egypt. Located near MIT Rahina in Giza, Egypt, Memphis was a bustling hub of commerce, trade, and religion due to its strategic position at the mouth of the Nile Delta. King Menes founded the city during the Old Kingdom, and it remained an important city throughout ancient Egyptian history. The principal port, Perun Efer, was home to warehouses, factories, and workshops that distributed food and merchandise throughout the kingdom. One of Memphis's most famous structures was the Great Temple of Ta, Hutkata. It was the patron of craftsmen, and the name A Gamma Upsilon Pi Tao, which Manitho rendered in Greek, is believed to have originated from the name of this temple. In fact, the modern English name Egypt has its roots in the name of the temple. Despite its significance, Memphis eventually succumbed to the rise of coastal Alexandria and the abandonment of ancient religion after the Edict of Thessalonica. Today, its ruins offer only fragmented evidence of its past. However, the Open Air Museum is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Memphis was a fascinating city with a rich history that spanned thousands of years. Its many different names throughout the years were indicative of the various periods of its past, starting with Inabuhej in ancient Egyptian and ending with the Greek adaptation, Memphis. While some scholars believed that Anktoi referred to an area with a sacred tree, others were convinced that it pointed to the Pyramid of Pepi I located west of the city. Meanwhile, the name MNNFR paid tribute to the city's most iconic pyramid. The modern-day town of MIT Rahina got its name from Memphis Egyptian appellation as the Road of the Ram-Headed Sphinxes. This name was a nod to the many Sphinx statues scattered along its roads. Interestingly, the city's origins were a subject of much debate, with Hesiod's Theogony suggesting that it was founded by Epiphus and named after his wife. It was believed that she was a daughter of the Greek river god Melus. Finally, the Bible referred to Memphis as Maf, while the Muslim tradition adopted the Coptic etymology, which referred to the city as Mafa. The number 30 was significant in many traditions surrounding the city. Mankawas built it for his 30 daughters, and Basar lived there with his 30 children. In conclusion, Memphis was an ancient city that had seen it all and was rich in history and culture. Its many names during its lifetime and the diverse traditions surrounding it only added to its mystique and made it even more unforgettable. Memphis, once a thriving metropolis in ancient Egypt, now lies barren and uninhabited. The closest modern settlement, MIT Rahina, sits nearby as a reminder of what this ancient city once was. Memphis was once home to an estimated 30,000 people, making it the largest settlement in the world from its foundation until 2250 BC and again from 1557 to 1400 BC, according to Tertius Chandler. However, K. Bard's estimates put the population during the Old Kingdom at around 6,000 inhabitants. Regardless of the exact number, it is clear that Memphis played a pivotal role in the history of Egypt. The city was home to many important ancient Egyptian landmarks, such as the Pyramids of Giza. It was also a significant center of trade and commerce, influencing the culture and society of the surrounding areas. Today, Memphis remains an essential part of Egypt's rich cultural heritage and serves as a vital link to the past, connecting us to the people who once called this city home. Centuries ago, Memphis was a thriving city in ancient Egypt, known for its worship of Ta, the god of creation and artworks. It served as the capital for over eight consecutive dynasties, and under the sixth dynasty, it reached the pinnacle of its power, being the main hub for Ta worship. The city's prestige was so high that it was home to the impressive Temple of Ta and an alabaster sphinx, which served as a memorial to its former glory. However, as time passed, Memphis faced a decline in power with the rise of Thebes during the New Kingdom era. Even though it was later revived under the Persians, the establishment of new cities like Alexandria eventually pushed Memphis to become Egypt's second most important city. Yet, the Roman Empire saw Alexandria as the key Egyptian city, and as such, Memphis was relegated to the second spot until the establishment of Fustat in 641 AD. The city's decline continued, 
and soon, it was only remembered for the stone that was used from its ruins as the surrounding settlements continued to grow. By the 12th century, Memphis was nothing more than scattered stones and low ruins, a mere shell of the once great city it had been. Despite this, the memory of Memphis's past prestige and the worship of Ta continues to live on in ancient artifacts like the Alabaster Sphinx. Do you want to explore more Greek mythology stories? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.